Now today, Property Lean Brothers is bringing you back to District 15 where we are showing you a corner detached home standing at the size of a staggering 7087 square feet of space, 6,000 square feet of build-up. I think you will love this one with us. Let's go. Now before we head into the actual unit, let me just bring out some facts about the house itself. District 15, we are standing on top of a freehold land and we are flanked in between East Coast Road as well as St. Patrick's Road. Now when we are talking about detached kind of sizes in Singapore, we are talking about minimally 4,300 square feet of land space. This house at 7087 square feet has a GFA of close to 9,900 approximately. Given the current size, you can definitely build up to even more internal space if you want to. And of course, we are standing on a corner detached plot. Now the minimum width is 10 meters for detached land but for this house itself we have a width of 14.4 meters from the front 19.5 meters from the back a depth of 34.5 meters on the right side 9.3 meters at the corner and 28.2 meters on the left now of course if you are thinking about expanding the internal square footage you must adhere to the two meter setback that's required by URA for this side there has been more than two meters of setback that has been allocated I think that there's a lot of potential that you can do with this home now with the sheer size of 13 bedrooms in total you can certainly turn this house into multi-generational living Living. Level 1, you have 5 bedrooms with 4 ensuite toilets. There's one room that's allocated for a prayer room, but you can turn it actually into a study. One storage area below the staircase, there's living, the dining, there's a helper's room plus a bathroom, a wet kitchen, dry kitchen, backyard plus washing area, car porch, the outdoor pergola, the garden, as well as the arowana pond, which we will be showing you later. Now on level 2, there are 6 bedrooms, 5 ensuite, there's a mini library, outdoor patio that can host up to 20 to 30 packs, second living room for entertainment, which is large as well. And on level 3, there are two bedrooms with two ensuite, a storage room, an entertainment room which is currently used as a billets room, an outdoor patio which can host equally up to 20 to 30 packs as well as a gym. So I know it's a mouthful to remember the entire configuration of this massive home but why not let's just show you the home and kickstart the home tour proper. Let's go. Now when you come into this home, you can fit up to 4 cars within this car porch itself or even up to 5. Now the owner actually rebuilt the house back in 2005. You can see that there's actually a very nice arowana pond. You can either retain the pond as itself, or if not, you can actually turn this area into a mini garden as well. There's actually a gate where you can also access the home from here and that leads you back towards your washing area which is towards the back of the kitchen. Towards the right side of home, this place is especially good if you want some alfresco dining right here. What the owner has done is also put up timber, planks on top of the outdoor area. A pergola has already been built and towards the back there is a garden which I think is perfect if you have pets. They can roam freely around here. What the owners have done is also to plant their own palm trees. I think it helps to shade some sun away from the house. So now let's move in and show you the rest of the house. And when you come into the house, the first thing that you notice is that there is the living and the dining right here. And the owners rebuilt the home in such a way that there are rooms on the first floor as well. Very wide living area right here. You can easily place in a 75 inch TV and host up to easily 10 packs. Now because the house is so large, they wanted a larger living area, which is why they have placed their dining table in one of the rooms towards the back. And of course, this is room number one. You have a queen size bed that's been fitted here with two side tables. Just look at the size of this room. You can easily place in a king plus your own walk wardrobe right here. They have placed in a TV here for entertainment, bathroom towards the back. The rooms within this house mostly have a walk-in wardrobe together with an ensuite toilet. And moving on to room number two, you can place in a king size bed. Currently a queen is fitted here. And of course for all the rooms, they have similarly decked up in parquet flooring. Similar design with a walk-in wardrobe and a bathroom towards the back. All these bathrooms also have fully equipped shower screen, sink and WC as well. Room number three, they have converted this into a dining area for up to eight to 10 packs and towards the back you have a kitchen here of course they have turned this place into a mini pantry a washing area as well and this is actually the bathroom that's currently used for the helper but if you want to turn this into your own bedroom this can be converted into your personal bathroom as well for room number four of course you have a longer kind of walkway your ensuite toilet is right here bed built-in wardrobe has been done up for you too 
this is where your dry kitchen is. Just look at the size, the amount of countertop space that's available for you. Bottom and top hung cabinet, three burner stove as well as a hood. Towards the back, you have your helper's room right here. This bathroom is actually a Jack and Jill design which connects to the dining room earlier. And finally, we have the wet kitchen area where they do most of their heavy cooking. Even if you don't have a hood, the fumes will not get into the house. The wet kitchen has been combined together with the yard come washing area. When they rebuilt it back in 2005, they want to do up a space for ironing. It actually leads all the way to the Arowana Pond, which is at the front of the house. There is one more room that is tucked beside the staircase which is currently used as a study room. If you're still working but you prefer not to place it upstairs, I think this is excellent. Towards the right side of the staircase, you actually have a storage area that has been cut out for you. And towards the left is actually what is commonly used as a prayer room. We'll go up to level 2. Coming to level 2, what the owner has done is that they wanted every floor to have a similar kind of design. So when you come up from the staircase, on level 1 which is a prayer room and level 2 is a mini library. And of course, this room can be converted into a bedroom which is now currently used as a children's play area. You can easily put in a queen size bed as well. This area on level 1 is a living and dining but on level 2, this is actually a very very huge living area. The owners currently use this place as an entertainment area. They have a huge light screen here for when they can watch movies and Netflix, a TV where they can play their content console games and because the space is so huge they have placed in an 8 seater and a 4 seater here and this can easily turn into a 20 to 30 packs if you want to host your party and of course for the patio itself the entire flooring has been done up with synthetic grass this is perfect for people who love to host parties trees built on level 1 this can create shade for the patio as well if you want to host a barbecue you already have an electrical point there the outdoor set has been ready made for you now you can do up a trellis install some lights put a barbecue below and I think this will be perfect if you want to host. It's really, really good when you have the outdoor patio if you want to merge your hosting together with the entertainment area. They already have this door that is built in for you so you can close it. Now let's move on to bedroom number six. This room has a similar kind of size with the room directly down below. Place in your king size bed right here. You already have your walk-in wardrobe towards the back. Ensuite bathroom, shower screen, sink, WC already. Now moving on to room number seven. This is where the dining room is at level one. And this will be how it looks like if you were to convert it back to a bedroom. King size bed no issue, walk-in wardrobe, a dressing table as well as your ensuite bathroom towards the back. And directly opposite room number 7 is room number 8. Very very huge bedroom as well, a king size wouldn't be an issue. Similarly, you also have your walk-in wardrobe as well as a bathroom towards the back. All the rooms on this side actually has windows facing towards the south. So you do not get direct sunlight that's coming into the home at any point in time. Room number 9 has been currently used as a workspace. This on level 1 would therefore be the kitchen. Towards the back, this is actually currently used as a storage room. Bedroom number 9, you have your bathroom right tucked at the corner, similar to the one at level 1, which has a longish kind of layout. King size bed right here, but queen would be suitable as well. And uh, let's move up to level 3. Coming to level 3, the entire floor has been planned out for entertainment purposes. You do have two bedrooms. What you see here is actually a billets room. This room itself is actually as large as level 1's living plus dining. This place can be turned into your personal function room or meeting room. Towards outside, you have a level 3 outdoor patio as well and this can easily hold up to maybe 80 to 100 people at any one time. They also added in a storage room. Now of course at level 3, you do have a better view towards East Coast Road and it's definitely more private and serene in this area. Coming into room number 12, this is actually a really, really huge bedroom that has been converted to an entertainment room as well. Towards the back, drum room, which can be your walk-in wardrobe as well as your bathroom towards the back. South facing from the window as well, no direct sunlight coming to the home. Now let's head on to the gym, which is room number 13. Those who love to work out, I think this would definitely be your favorite room. You can easily place in multiple racks, a treadmill here. This actually was meant to be a walk-in wardrobe. You can actually hack on two of these walls to place placing more gym equipment.
Now let's talk a little bit about the location itself. We are at District 15, flanked in between East Coast Road and St. Patrick's Road. We have the upcoming Thompson East Coast Line, which is slated to complete mid of this year. And the closest MRT station to us is Marine Terrace MRT station. And that is just a six minute walking distance away. Now D15 being the second largest district for landed homes, this district is primarily dominated by private housing. The ECP Expressway is just a five minute drive away. In terms of recreation, you have the East Coast Park at around 1.3 kilometers away or five minutes drive. For schools, we are one kilometer from Taunan Primary School, THIJ Katon Convent, and Nian Primary School. Now, in terms of amenities, you have the Parkway Parade and I12 Katon, both within five minutes' drive away. We have come to the end of this video and if you are someone who is looking for a corner detached plot within District 15 itself, I think this place at 7087 square feet and 13 bedrooms would might be suitable for you if you are also looking for multi-generational living. This house is priced at $14.5 million. Now if you have liked what you've seen in this video, do contact our listing managers with their numbers down below as well as follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. Now my name is Yongjun, Property Brothers. As always, happy to show you the place. Now other, now, other than a bottom and eh? Uh, okay. Now, you already have a... Wow, wow, wow. See this song. It's her. Eh? No, 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 no. No! <sighs> you have an electrical point there. My name is Yongjun. As always, happy to show you the place. Eh? Oh, social media. Of course, at deep within this trip. Uh, repeat. <laughs>